Hi girlfriends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabrielle Eichel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you're old, thank you guys for joining back. I'm so excited. I'm almost at 5,000 subscribers, so I'm so appreciative of you guys supporting your girl. Thank you guys so much. Anyways, in today's video, I just wanted to share the products that I finished in 2020, aka my empties video. And the first thing I wanted to show was these alligator clips. I got these from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of those type of stores, but I got alligator clips and literally all of them broke. Like here's the other side here. I like went to clip it like that and it just click and then it flew on the other side. So I kept these and they, they literally broke the first time I used them, maybe the second time I used them. So I've literally kept these in my little bin for a year. These are going in the trash. My hair is getting thick guys, but alligator clips are not for me. I was transitioning at the time, so it wasn't even full natural hair. At the beginning of the year, I feel like I didn't have that much new growth. So I don't know, crocodile clips are a no for me. Next off, I'll go, I'll start with my conditioners that I use as pre poos so and I've mentioned these in videos before I have my Garnier Fructis pure clean fortifying conditioner plus aloe extract I actually have their whole line the regular shampoo the conditioner and a deep conditioner so I'm excited to try those out I've got those like maybe a few months ago so just been sitting on them but I'm going to be trying that out because I love this so much I use it as a pre-poo, but I could really use it as a conditioner because it makes my hair so soft. The next pre-poo, I have a quadruple set. Garnier, again, the Garnier Whole Blends Refreshing Conditioner. And I have four different types. I had coupons for these, for these, so these were all free for me. And that's the first, that's, that's really why I got them because they were free. But once I started using them, I actually just love them. And obviously, I used up all four of them. So I have the green apple and green tea one. And then I have the legendary olive with olive leaf extracts. And these ones have no silicones and they're paraben free. And then we have the illuminating conditioner. Oh, these are okay. So they're actually all different. So this here, and I didn't even know this. This one is a refreshing conditioner, the green apple and green tea one. This one is a replenishing conditioner, nourishes to restore and softness and shine. And then we have illuminating conditioner, moisturizes to reveal silky shine. This one is the Moroccan argan and camellia oils. And they all smell really good too. And this one is a repairing. So you have repairing, replenishing, refreshing, and illuminating conditioners. <laughs> this one, the repairing one strengthens and heals damage. So this one has, it's called Honey Treasures. It has royal jelly, honey, and propolis extracts. But I really did like all of these Garnier products. And usually when you hear Garnier, you think of white people hair. <laughs> On, well, at least that's what I think of. Maybe you're different, but when I hear Garnier, I think of white people hair products. But those really worked on my hair, and so I will be repurchasing those again in 2021. So next, I'll do Aussie Moist, Aussie, and then the line is the Moist line. I just did an updated wash day routine for winter, and I used the Aussie Moist line, and I really like this stuff. It's moist. It makes my hair moisturized and not drying or stripping. So first, we have the 3-Minute Miracle deep conditioner it has avocado and Australian jojoba oil and you guys already see from that video I got a bigger one I actually liked it because it's upside down so you you store it like this and it comes out like this so you don't have to like flip it over to get the product out you know like normal conditioners do and then this is the regular conditioner in the same moist line this is the big 26.2 fluid ounce bottle and I will definitely be repurchasing these. I actually already repurchased this one because this has been gone for a while now. Okay, so the next brand that we have is My L. Of course we have My L because I love My L. Um, I tried their Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. 
you guys know this is one of my favorites it's actually in my top 10 link up above in the description box i gave a um, review mini review of my top 10 products from 2020 this is one of them i absolutely love this deep conditioner and then i also tried the male healthy hair adult vitamins there are gummies and i also did a video on this one i like them i like the taste but i think a lot of the hair skin and nail vitamins i've really helped my nails out more so than my hair um i got I, my hair grew and it probably did do something but it's not something that i'm actually seeing i think so I don't know, but I did like these. I will not repurchase these right now because I'm looking into other things that assist in hair growth. So maybe later, but not right now. For the vitamins, of course. The deep conditioner, always going to repurchase that. Okay, and next we have the Canvas Beauty brand. And you guys know I love their products as well. I actually bought this stuff of my own money. The Canvas Beauty hair blossom serum and then the infinitely deep conditioner yeah they they help grow your hair they're legit i like these and i will not be repurchasing them because i am a brand ambassador for them so they do send me free products and i do have more products upstairs of these and they also over the summer they sent me their vitamins and these are gone i actually do have a video on that i just never posted it so if you guys want to see a video on the hair vitamins, I can post that for you guys. But I did like taking these vitamins. They are actually capsules and not the gummies like the Mayo ones. They didn't cause my face to break out or anything or irritate my face, my scalp, nothing. So grew my hair or it helped grow my hair and no complaints on like breakouts or acne. So I will be using those again. So the next brand we have the Apogee Pro Vitamin Leave-In Conditioner. I like this stuff. I had it since I was relaxed, so I was just finishing it up. And I also bought a new one of these this year. And then I also have the Issa 10 Miracle Leave-In Product. Both of these I got from Amazon. And I repurchased both of these again from Amazon. So I do really like these. These have been in my hair, hair care routine since I've been relaxed and they're still working for my natural hair so I will definitely keep reusing these ones. Next we have oh this is a good one the OGX Hydrate and Repair Argan Oil of Morocco Creamy Hair Butter. This was really good and it smells so good. I love their packaging the OGX packaging. It's a small container but I really liked it. It made my hair feel very soft and it felt very hydrated. So, I did like this one. And then I have the Cara Care, 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 Care Glossifier. And I did a video on Cara Care. Uh, I won a giveaway in the summer and they sent me Cara Care products. But this was one I used when I had relaxed hair. And so I just finished it up this year. I probably will not be doing this again because it's, it's grease basically. Um, I try not to grease my scalp. Now, since I'm natural, I use oils, so I probably would not be getting this again, but I did really like it, and it's very expensive, too. I feel like all natural hair products are expensive, or maybe hair products in general are expensive. Anyways, I will not be getting this again. I don't dislike it. It's just I don't need it anymore for the type of hair that I have now, so. And then we have two edge controls here. This is the Murray's Edge Wax Extreme Hold. I used this, I got a sample size from the beauty supply store. I used it when I was doing my passion twist to help hold because my hair was transitioning at that time. So my relaxed hair didn't want to stay down. So it did help out with that. And then I have the Eben 24 Edge Tamer and it has biotin and vitamin E. It's an edge donut. So it's really cute. It's in the shape of a donut. And this was like 50 cents from the beauty supply store. I think it was on sale because they might have been sitting there for a while. I don't know. But I liked it. And then, so that was all for the hair care, the natural hair care products. And now I have a few beauty products that I use. And 
I just finished this. I don't know why I even kept this. But this is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Soap. It has frankincense and mirror. I don't even know how to pronounce that, but that's in the Bible. Frankincense and mirror, mirror extracts. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yes, this was really good. It's actually green. Um, when I think of Shea Butter, like the deep conditioner I have, I think of like a white or a cream color, but the Shea Butter soap was a green soap and it was very moisturizing and hydrating to my skin. So I I really love using Shea Moisture products for my hair and body. I have a lot of the um, body washes and bar soaps. I actually got this for free because I had a coupon. So go ahead Shea Moisture, put no coupons. And then I have these, my aunt actually gave these to me. They're cooling cucumber iPads. Did a few spa days this year. It's been a stressful year, so did a few of these. And I really did like these. It, it gives you the feeling of having cucumbers on your face with act, without actually having a cucumber on your face. So I like this. It was refreshing, soothing, and everything that the package does say. And then I have these. I actually got this from Influencer. This is the Neutrogena Rapid Tone Repair Vitamin C Serum. So they come in little capsules they're like this small I'll see if I can find a picture or a video of me using them um, and then you just squirt it on your to your skin I really like that I think it did help out with this area of darkness dark spots on this side I will have to take a picture now because I think I did a before picture so I'll see if I can find the before picture and then put it with the after picture and see you guys can tell me if you think it did anything and then I also I got these from Macy's this is the Elizabeth Arden vitamin C capsules and it's supposed to really do the same thing as this but I received a lot of these from Macy's so it's just one little container and had maybe like 10 little capsules in it I like that as well but this one is more of a serum this one was more of like a creamy texture and I actually liked and preferred the creamy texture over the serum because let me tell you guys why because this makes your face oily like I, I just wasn't expecting it because I used this first the Neutrogena first so I got both of these for free I would probably be repurchasing a Neutrogena one in the future I still have so many of these to use up so I'm going to use them up to see if they do anything but I prefer the Neutrogena and then I have the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula this has always been a staple in my Skincare regimen, it helps with dark spots and stretch marks. So definitely repurchasing. I already have one upstairs. Got coupons for this too. So I think they're like six or seven dollars and I was getting for like four. So yes, we'll be repurchasing. And then lastly I have my MAC. This is the Match Master SPF 15 foundation in the color 7.0. So the foundations that I use are MAC, Fenty, Clinique, but I love MAC. This is the first brand that I used starting in 2014. So I've been using this for six years now, MAC foundation. And I hear a lot of people talking about how it messes up their skin, but I've had no problems with MAC. Been using it, like I said, for six years and I will definitely keep repurchasing MAC. So those were all the products that I emptied in 2020. That was a lot. I hope to get through a lot of products this year because I wash my hair more often now that I am natural. So I, I try to do a wash day every weekend and then sometimes I do a co-wash like I did this. I did a co-wash on Tuesday, I think. So I've been using more products, I think, more recently. So I hope to have an even bigger empties video in 2021 but thank you guys so much for watching please let me know in the comments down below if you've used any of these products and if you will repurchase them if you did use them and yeah don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and also click the subscribe button and bell to be notified whenever i post and until my next one i will see you guys later bye